So the scope of the project that we worked on to win this award was um, to to bring some historical thoria-based fuels out to, out from out from storage and get them back in the core to measure them. Uh, the idea was to maybe fill some gaps that weren't addressed initially in the first uh, the first run through. Uh, so they originally measured back in the 80s. Um, and thoria fuels of interest uh, because it would be well suited to pressurize heavy water reactors. And so the idea here is to develop um, uh, or to connect measurements that would be used to support code validation for, uh, for full-scale power reactors like a can-do, a full can-do core running this sort of thoria-based fuel. So the idea was to put it back in the core, get some good measurements, also um, both static and, and uh, transient measurements, and use that to hopefully in the future enable this, uh, this fuel ending up in a, in a power reactor. The, uh, the wish is to be able to um, use these novel fuel types to complement other fuel types in pressurized heavy water reactors, such as in India or China. It gives us the ability to, to explore the different uh, aspects of the fuel cycle, and uh, there's potential to be able to use these, these novel fuels to breed fuel and to cut down the amount of waste. This would, be, this would be a great use of existing uh, stockpiles of fissile material around the world and, and there's potential as well for uh, thorium reactors to, uh, to breed as much fuel as they consume so you end up with overall less waste, less fission products um, for, for the amount of power that you generate. So you're able to get more bang for your buck out of the same mass of fuel, ideally. Teamwork was very important for this particular project because it not only involved everybody uh, within the facility here, uh, the operations staff and the physics uh, uh, support staff, but we had to uh, work with other groups such as nuclear materials management, uh, mechanical equipment development to deal with some of the uh, tooling involved to be able to move the fuel from uh, the lower area to up here and, and load the fuel channels. So it was, it was uh, and also we use, um, we, we're in an enhanced security state right now because of this fuel being in the facility and because of that uh, it took many different groups coming together to pull this off. So looking forward, the research and data derived from this suite of experiments will uh, be used by the scientists and engineers to develop future uh, fuel designs and also feed into future reactor designs uh, and small modular reactor technologies.